nice lips. Only live once, we are enjoy this. Y'all are dead shots and a muggle in a shot, so my way up, cut 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 Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, I'm your host, King Keek. Now, today's video really doesn't need too much of an introduction. Y'all already got that in the opening, but I figured I'd take the time to give it just a little bit more context. Now, the footage you're about to see was shot about a month ago, maybe, maybe a little bit more. It was actually the same day that I made my second attempt at dropping an FPV quad for my Mavic Air 2 over here. And heading into the park that day, I was actually behind a pickup truck that had a paramotor fan in the back, and that added to the tinge of excitement I had going into this day. Now that tinge of excitement was crushed extremely quickly when the attempt at dropping my quad failed, and I completely, at that point, forgot about the paramotor, you know, until I was packing up all my gear, and then I heard it just whining, taking off across the park. So I broke out the Mavic Air 2 real quick again, and luckily I had just been on the app, so I didn't have to struggle with that for too long. Um, I was able to get up in the air real quick and get the footage y'all are about to see. Now, before we get into it, I do want to say that um, the editing techniques I used, the angles I got, we're not meant to be professional by any means. It was just a quick, fun flight. And that's simply due to the spur of the moment aspect of it. I did not know the pilot's flight path. Not only that, dude was traveling at pff, over 40 miles an hour at times. And without being in sport mode, I could only get 26 to 33 miles an hour or so of travel speed with that thing. So. Once he landed though, I did pack up my gear real quick and I went to meet him in the parking lot that he was at. We exchanged information and not only that, super duper surprisingly, that don't even make sense. He was okay with the idea of me actually chasing his paramotor up in the air with my FPV quads. So that was pretty dope. Also in the video, I did put his Instagram information on the screen. so. If you have Instagram, if you're into paramotors, even if you're not, but you're into seeing the world from above like so many of us are, go over to Instagram, give them a follow, tell them to start a YouTube channel or something. Why not? We're all doing it nowadays anyways, right? With all that being said, I suppose it's time to get right into this shit before the video is 17 minutes long and you guys don't want to stick around to watch it, right? So enjoy. Give the video a like, share it out, subscribe. Do whatever it is you think you got to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be easy.
kick back, let it split from my mind drifts. Back, let it split from my mind drifts. Drift. 